Hey folks, it's Lisa, the ad, one of the admins at the Silhouette Cameo Beginners Newbie Hangout group. Boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, I know a lot of people have updated to version 4 in the Silhouette software, and they hate it, and they're freaking out. It's not that much of a difference. It is a little bit navigation-wise, but basically it's the same setup. Just dig a little harder to find some of the buttons. So um, a lot of it looks the same. All this is the same up here. Now, we used to have a whole other toolbar over here. The only thing they did was shift it around and dump it down on the right. So here's all that on the right now. Okay. Mine, um, because I have bigger icons, that's why you can't see everything on there. You can change that. Like, I don't like it that my rhinestone is hidden. So if you go to your preferences window, which is your little gear, you can change your display to make your button size smaller. And then if I hit OK, see now I have more of my buttons over here on the side and I have more workable space. So that's just one little tip for you there. Okay, so um, I have brought in a couple designs from Google. Um, I want to show you guys some neat things about the new trace icon. Now, you have to have design edition to do two of the neat functions that they have now. I guess that's how they get you to buy the design edition now. I'm going to show you how to do a basic black dress, which is usually what I teach when I have um, the workshops. So your butterfly is where your trace button lives. Everything for your trace lives in your butterfly. That's the easiest way to describe it. You click on that, and the first thing you're going to see is this first butterfly, and you're going to select your trace area. It just means tell me what you want me to trace. I want to trace the black dress. There's a solid fill. The outline of it and I would trace the outer edge at that point. I want to go ahead and do a solid fill because I want to be able to cut just this outside edge. Okay, and then I hit trace. Move it all the way. Now it looks wrong. I'm very visual and I suggest you guys do this. Anytime you trace something, go ahead and fill it in with color because then you know exactly what's going to trace. So it used to be the paint bucket. Now it's our artist palette right here. If you hover over the icon, it tells you what it is change my color to black. So now this will cut just like it did in this image here, okay? So that's the basics of it. You can also do, if I select it and do a trace area, trace my area again. There's some other features you can do. You can trace the outline, you can move the threshold. The threshold just basically means it fills it in more. So like if you had a real grainy look, you could fill it in a little bit more, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, we'll get into these other buttons here shortly. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to trace this more complicated stuff. Let me zoom in here a little bit. My pictures are fuzzy, and yes, that makes a difference. If you have fuzzy pictures, they will not trace as well. So remember that you need higher resolution or higher quality. Okay, I'm going to close my fill. So I want to trace, let's say we're going to trace, trace this black dream, dream catcher. I'm going to select the trace area, just like I did over there when I did my dress, just like this, and then I just simply hit trace. Remember, very visual, so click on your one that you've traced, go to your artist palette, and that's what it'll look like when you trace it, or when you go to cut it out, that's exactly how it'll look. Okay, now I'm going to show you another trace function. Select trace. Go here. Oops. Helps if I make it fit, right? Okay, so now I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to say trace outer edge. And I want to show you the difference. Do you see what it did? It just traced the outline, nothing else. That's what that means. Okay, it's not complicated. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Okay, so trace, select trace area. Let's go back here. And I want to, now watch this area here. This is what threshold will do. See how it starts to fill it in more? And it can get real grainy that way. The despeckle is basically the same thing. See how it's taking out my dots? It's not as aggressive as the threshold. See how that works? And you know, it might be cool to even design this way. Maybe you like this look better. 
So that's another option that can help you with your designs. High pass filter is automatically off, which is what we like, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. And then I'll just simply hit trace. And the cool thing is I actually made another design really just by using the, the speckle threshold. Okay. All right, now we're gonna get into the hard stuff. These two buttons you're gonna have if you have design edition. Okay, what that means that this one is called, does it tell you, does it tell you? Trace by color. So what you do is you click on trace by color, and then all you get is the hand, but you're gonna click on the color that you want. I wanna trace everything that's going to be pink. Now, do you see what it did? Everything that is pink is what I'm tracing. I can do solid outline, just do the outlines of it, solid fill. I can do single area, which means it's only gonna trace one thing that I'm clicked on, not everything else that's pink, or trace all the areas. Now the tolerance is basically a little bit like the threshold. If I zoom it in or take it out, it actually will make it more filled or less filled. And then at that point, all I have to do is hit trace. See? And see how it traced my little arrow? Everything that was in pink is traced and grouped now. Got it? All right, now I'm going to show you something else that I discovered that is just freaking cool. Trace by color. I want to trace by pink, right? Now, I'm going to hit trace and detach. I'm not changing anything else. Now watch what this does. Is that not the freaking coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? It did it with this. Here, look. Is that not awesome? So there you have it. That's trace and detach. But you need to make sure you group it. See how you can move things around before you get too excited? Make sure you select it all. Right click and group. Now control G does the same thing as right click and group. And see how basically it's like taking a pair of scissors and cutting it out of a, cutting out of a sheet of paper. I thought it was pretty cool. I really liked it. And then you could probably also use these really well at print cut. Got it? Okay. Now I'm going to show you the other cool feature, which is called magnet trace. And basically, all that means is you can draw a line around what you want to trace. So if I want to trace this red this red feather, I'm going to click. Where I want to start, oh, let me click on Magnet Trace first. See how it's got this dot? I would encourage you to zoom in. So I'm going to click here. Click here. Now, anytime you have a curve, you're going to have to do more clicks because it doesn't realize that it's actually a curve. See how that, see if I kept doing this, it would take me down, but I want more of my curve. And come over to this side. And I could go in here and do the little feathers if I wanted to. This is just a quick way to show you. Now remember, you can only do this if you have the designer edition or higher, okay? If you don't, then this is not a function that's available for you. I can also click and hold and drag. Now look at that. Now it did erase my entire background, but once I clicked it, I am done. Now I thought that was very, very cool myself because now I can just trace out pieces and parts of a design or a picture that I like. So if you don't have design edition, remember you won't have these last two options here. But is that not cool? All the different things we can do with tracing that we could not do before. So I really hope this helps you just a little bit to get you started again with your tracing. So remember, it's in the butterfly window, and then you're gonna have these three little buttons at the top now. You can move these little floating panels around. Maybe you like them over here, maybe you don't. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about tracing, please let me know. Um, I'll go ahead and post this so you guys can take a look at it. You guys have a great weekend, I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.